Once you grasp this truth that I'm about to tell you, it'll set you free from religion. It'll set you free from parents and moms and family and governments and police. Everybody, it'll set you free. And it's simply this. You are divine. God has exploded in a crab nebulae explosion and he has come and manifested himself as billions of people. And you're one of you. And so am I. When I look at you, I see God. When you look at me, you see God. That's why God's name is I am. I am God. It doesn't mean that me, God, means I am. When you say I am God, you have to say what is God's name? I am. What? I am God. Oh my God, then all the people's Christians run around. Oh, I told you they think they're God. I don't think anything of the side. No, Jesus Christ said. The scripture says you are God, and the scripture cannot be broken. So he said it. Don't yeah, yeah, I'm like the last third album. Peace, 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 family. How you all doing? I hope all is well with you. My name is Keisha. I'm the owner of Ascendant Astrology, and I am your astrology coach. Today, I'm going to be doing, uh, starting my Neptune through the sign series. We're starting with Neptune and Aries. Um, Neptune will be moving into Aries in 2025 along with Saturn. Now, I already did my Saturn through the series. And so if you want to go check that out, you can. But I thought it would be a good idea to start this, even though I've been talking about doing it for a long time. Um, I only have Uranus, no, Pluto left to do. And so, um, yeah. So... Neptune is the ruler of Pisces. Um, it's kind of nebulous, mystical, airy fairy, fifth dimension. It rules your subconscious mind, dreams, sleep, sign symbols, synchronicities, daydreaming, deja vu. Um, it's about being compassionate and volunteering. Um, it's addictions um, of all kinds, um, lack, um, feeling lost, fogginess, things not being clear. Um, it's very imaginative, creative. It is very much related to Hollywood photography, directors, anything behind a screen. Um, um, things that are delusions, illusions. And so it could be like, you know, a lens not coming through clearly, you know, or not being able to see through a snowstorm or a rainstorm. You know, it kind of um, symbolizes things of that nature. Um, confusion, um, the victim mentality, sacrifices, propaganda, the health field, prison, things that are hidden, things that happen behind the scenes, sneaky, fishy. Um, um, yeah. And so these people can be very intuitive and perceptive, healing and compassionate. They can also struggle with making life decisions. Uh, they tend to really be flowy, you know, again, going back to that idea of being very mystical, daydreamy, uh, airy fairy, <laughs> kind of, um, uh, can seem a little off. So it could also be like people with mental illness or autism. Um, but that doesn't necessarily have to be. They're just here, but they're not really here. <laughs> <clears throat> but because it rules other dimensions, it's also that they're very closely connected to the other side. And so these are where you get your psychics, Reiki, 
past life regression and the and the metronome you know the sleep thing being hypnotized and put to sleep anything to do with the subconscious mind people who study dreams and dream analysis uh the sleep apnea testing and um things of that nature uh, really anything to do with um water, water studies and fish and studying fish or just working with fish, working on rates and things of that nature. Um, they tend to be a little off, essentially. Um, and kind of naive um, in that way where they, they're easily influenced or can be taken advantage of. Uh, they tend to not be happy unless they're sacrificing something. Uh, what it could be anything. It's really going to depend on you know what house it's in and what other planets are in that house as well as what else is aspecting. Um, Neptune and Aries, and so it could play out in multiple different ways for different people, but um. On the lower expression, this is somebody who's like, well, I do so much for you, you know, but you don't do it, but I don't get anything back. And so the lessons that these people have to learn is what's worth sacrificing, um, what's worth giving, um, and being mindful of that. Uh, they could be a little bit wishy-washy in their communication. Like you could ask them, you know, what's your favorite color? And they might be like, well, when I was like three, it was this and have a whole storyline behind it and kind of go off again, very flowy and like, it could be really annoying to some people who want a direct response. It's like, I just asked you what your favorite color was, seriously. And so they could come off a little weird or like um, <laughs> that they live in the clouds. Um, it's really good for these people to get into meditation because they can really find answers there. Uh, they can also have high ideals. So uh, Neptune energy is to idealize something or put something on a high pedestal, but often get disappointed because it might not be realistic. And so again, another lesson for them is to be realistic in their ideals and expectations in life. Um, and that could be a slow process for them to learn um Neptune is mysterious and mystical and so these people might change their hair often um cut it and dye it often put on wigs often just constantly changing how they look which again makes them come off very suspicious or untrustworthy whenever I think about Neptune energy I always think about those stupid um um, how do you call them? Uh, the phone calls that you get that are just nothing, trying to get information from you, or scams, any kind of scams and things of that nature. And so um, it's very much like Pluto energy. I, if you've been watching me for a while, I've talked about that Pisces and Scorpio have very, very, very similar energy because it's about secrets, things that are hidden, manipulation and, um, you know, getting like catfished and distorted images and things of that nature. And so um, <laughs> these people can come off like such or, again, they're a part of um kind of like the energy that has that is deeply connected to like spies and um 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 
you know, undercover work or, um, you know, scheming to get information or to trick people into believing something that's not really real. Um, and um, it could be like robbers and, um, you know, things of that nature. And of course, it doesn't always have to be that deep, but um, it also could very well be that deep. <laughs> um, they might wear hats that cover their eyes. Um, they may do this through video or photography. So they could, again, be actors, and that's why they have to change their look often. Um, or they can be models or, um, um, you know, somebody who, you know, takes pictures for some purpose or reason that requires them to change outfits constantly. Um, they tend to have very deep, captivating eyes that can be really scary, actually, but they draw you in in a way that's very mystical, magical. From the Neptune side, I see this as like mermaids or the high priestess, where um, they just exude energy that is trusting and loving and compassionate and healing. And so people tend to want to be around them a lot or figure them out. Um, <laughs> like, what is it about this person? But they could also also feel like they float or flow through life and it's just so easy and effortless um they can have that kind of energy towards them um or you know again on the opposite end of that it could be very scary where they're kind of got that dead eye look like creepy uh murderous type of energy um I don't know why when I was writing this particular one, maybe it was because I was just watching the, um, what is his name? Is it Sean Gacy? I don't think it's Sean, something Gacy. You know, the murderer who dressed up as a clown, he laughed like a clown and he was kind of mentally not all there. Um, Wayne Gacy, that was his name, the Wayne Gacy crazy dude, like, um, they can kind of have that dark stare, you know, where it's almost as if they're looking right through you, um, yeah, um, but they can change their body, um, a lot, either through surgery, plastic surgery, or like with tattoos. Um, they can appear disorganized and unpredictable. Um, or they're just, their reactions are very exaggerating. Uh, or they exaggerate the truth a lot. Um, and again, so they can come off as liars, just like the phone call scammers, <laughs> you know. Um, um, or they can beat around the bush um, and not be able to, like, talk straight and direct. Um, they like to dress up and do role plays, alter their voice, um, especially because Neptune, again, is Hollywood. But because it's ruled by imagination, this could be like voiceover announcers for like Disney or kids shows. And it doesn't have to be, but they can be like really good at um, mocking different um, actors and, you know, people in, in, in uh, entertainment. Um, these people can also change who they are depending who they're with. Um, or they can have like very creative abilities um, and art or magic. Um, again, that really draws you in and it could seem almost effortless 
how well they are at what they do uh, because they're so connected to that creative energy. Um, which really just <laughs> further makes me think about, um, you know, kidnappers and, um, you know, people who, um, you know, kind of prey on other people. Um, and so they can tend to be victims of crime if they're not the victor in that way, um, or victims of scams and uh, catfished and um, things of that nature. Or they'll post pictures of themselves that are in distorted images or just with half their eyes showing or, you know, something to that nature. Um, now, I have Pluto in my first house, so I know you guys are probably like, well, you do the same thing. I do. I always try to cover my face, but that's because I have Pluto and Libra in the first <laughs> the first house. So um, I do kind of resonate with this energy quite uh, closely, to be quite frank. That's why I have the feelings I have about it. And I do know it could be a bit of a darker energy. But again, it really depends on what else you have in your chart. Not everybody's a freaking freak show, but um, it could it could be um, you know, kind of kind of weird. They can be a little weird. So, um, anyway, that is my interpretation of Neptune and Aries, and or in the first house, by the way. Um, as usual. I love and appreciate you. I hope you found this information helpful. Peace.